Okay, now I'm open in Photoshop Elements 10 and I'm going to show you how to color Ash Design Word out using Photoshop Elements. Almost the same process as using uh, Photoshop CS5 or something similar, but there's a couple of extra steps. So right now I have both my image open and then over here I have my word art open. If I double click on that you can see both of those. So what you want to do is have your image up and then you want to drag your word art to your image and it places it right over the middle and then you can use your selection tool to move it to where you want and in this case it's too big so I'm going to need to change the size so you're going to hit control or command T and that's going to give you these little boxes and then you can adjust the size double check that this constrained proportions is checked because otherwise it will get out of proportions and it won't look right otherwise you're good to go get it to the size you want and just hit the little green check mark the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my layers palette and I'm going to duplicate the layer. So I'm going to make sure it's blue. I'm going to right click and click duplicate layer. And then I'll just hit OK. So now I have two sunshine layers. Now I'm going to hold my shift down key and select the other layer so that they're both blue. And I'm going to hit this little lock key and that's going to put those layers together so that if I decide to move them around they'll move together and stake right over each other. Now from here, you might want to select the color that you want your word art because it's easiest to have that done in advance. So I'm just going to pick a quick yellow and OK. And then I'm going to click my bottom layer. And I'm going to come right down here at the bottom of my layers palette where it says create new fill or adjustment layer. I'm going to click on that and click solid color. And then this is where I'm going to come back to that yellow that I picked before if it doesn't automatically populate. And then I'm going to click OK. And then this is the important step that a lot of people miss is now I've got to put that into my layer so I'm going to hold down on the option key and put my mouse right between those layers so I get those double circles and then I'll just click and it goes right into there. And you can't see where the yellow went because we have this layer on top but if I turn that layer off you can see that I colored my word art yellow. Now in this case I just want the sunshine to be yellow so I'm going to click that layer back on and then I'm going to select that layer and I'm going to get my eraser tool and I'm going to erase out the parts of that layer that I want to be yellow so that the layer underneath shows through. Now if you have a really intricate design that you're working on it might be important to zoom in as you get up close, change your brush size and those things so pay attention to that. In this case I'm just going to real quickly erase this so you can see how that works. And then one of the things I actually do like about doing this in Elements is it's really easy then to play with changing that color once you've done this piece. I can just double click right here and I can choose other colors from throughout my design if I want to use something else. So I might decide that I like one of these browns more than I liked the yellow or play with the yellow color. And once you're happy with the color you just hit OK and then you can save that out as a JPEG and you've successfully added color to your Ash Design Word Art. Thanks, have a great day.